This video is on the objective, understand the properties of the chi-square distribution. And this is the second video on this objective I'm doing, uh, so hopefully you watched the first one. It was about 20 minutes long where I took you through all the instruction and uh, introduced you to this chi-square distribution we're going to be playing with in chapter 11. Um, now this question I'm going to look at here is not one that came up in my preview, but one that has, uh, that's uh, going to come up for some of you, right, where you have to read a table, a chi-square table. So say we're, you know, for a chi-square curve with 15 degrees of freedom, find, you know, chi-square 0.05 and interpret the value in terms of the chi-square curve. All right, so all this means is what's the value on the number line that has an area of 5% to the right of it? Right, and I'll draw up on a piece of paper too. Remember chi-squared curves, you know, uh, chi-square with 15 degrees of freedom. In fact, let me draw that, pull up, pull that, gra graph that on my calculator. All right, you remember this from the, hopefully the first video on this objective. I pulled up the calculator and showed you how to graph these chi-square curves. I go y equals second distributions and then down to chi-square PDF if you want to graph it. Chi-square CDF, you know, gives you an area under the curve. Um, so I'm doing chi-square PDF, just put in x and, you know, for the x value and then 15 degrees of freedom. I'm going to change the window up a bit. Uh, you know, because like, remember the, the mean will be the degrees of freedom, so the mean will be 15. And the standard deviation is going to be the square root of 2 times the degrees of freedom, so square root of 30, which is between 5 and 6. Alright, so I'll start this at 0. Alright, because remember the chi-square, the number line starts at 0. You're not going to have negative values in your chi-square. And, you know, mean 15... Standard deviation about five or six between five and six. Uh, so let's go fifteen plus two of those standard deviations. Uh, Twenty. So let's go zero to thirty. All right, and then have the scale be one here, and then y min say zero. Y max point. Let's see if point two five is too high or too low. All right, there you go. All right, remember this chi-squared distribution. Now, uh, the, you know, 15 degrees of freedom. See how, see how again, this is skewed right, right? Longer right tail, it's not symmetrical. Remember the mean is a little bit to the right. You know, if I put in, uh, you know, where is 15 here? I go trace, see, 15, x equals 15. Uh, that, see how it's to the right a little bit of the peak? Right, remember the mean is to the right of the peak, and the peak should actually be around 13 ish. Right? The, I told you uh, again in my first video that the the peak of this, you know, when you get to more degrees of freedom, you'll start seeing these like bu these bumps, uh, these peaks. Uh, the mean, the mode is at the peak, which is usually two less than the mean. Right? But the mean was at 15. Yeah, so there's your chi squared. Now what we're what we're asking about is, you know, what they're saying here. What what value on the number line, right? What value on the x-axis here has five percent to the right of it? 0.05. Now that's from this table. I can find it. You know, 15 degrees of freedom. So I'm in this row with 15 degrees of freedom here, and I'm looking for chi squared with the subscript of 0.05. So 24.996. All right, so I'll pull up a piece of paper actually as well. Right. So I'll draw something similar to what we just saw on my calculator. So again, here's a number line starting at zero, right? There's different values of this chi-square. And the graph looked something like this, you know, it was like and then a big right tail, and it looks something like that. And remember the mean was a little to the right of the peak at 15, value of 15. Now, under the peak, again, is about 13, 
All right, so so again, about about two less, usually two less than the the mean. Right? This was the number of degrees of freedom, which was the mean value of the of the distribution. And what what this table is telling us again is that the the chi square value, the value that has five percent to, to the right of it, with fifteen degrees of freedom here, is twenty four. Right, here's 24.996. So this value is the one that has an area of 5% above it. That's what this is saying. Okay. All right. So again, hopefully this isn't too tiny. I apologize. All right. So let me get rid of that paper. And then now again, this isn't, like I said, this isn't part of my preview. So you see they've already got the answer filled in here. They say interpret this. See, the, the, the correct answer is this bottom choice. See, chi square with the 0.05 subscript with 15 degrees of freedom is 24.996. This means that the area to the right of the chi square value, 24.996, under the chi square curve is 5%. Exactly what I was drawing for you a second ago. Right, and then you have your answer explanations that draw on the same picture I kind of drew on paper. And there you go. All right. So you, you'll come across problems like this, where you have to read a chi-squared table. All right. Okay. All right. So again, hopefully you saw my first video on this objective, and you know, hopefully watching this and reading your more instruction, looking at your more instruction when you click on it, looking at their videos, their notes, their examples, uh, reading the answer explanations when they come up. I'm hoping all this stuff helps you out when you're working on this on your own. And thank you very much for watching.